What's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Socials and Other Sports. I don't know. For some reason today, I just got done lunch, and I don't know. I just felt the need to talk about Agent Broner. I saw something today where Agent Broner was flipping over tires, talking about he's training hard and getting ready for the fight with Omar Figueroa. And, you know, we've, we in the media in general have given Agent Broner, you know, a pretty hard time. I'm not saying that he didn't bring it upon himself, but sometimes you got to step back and look at the overall picture. And the more I kept going back thinking about Adrian Broner, he was doing pretty good, man, until he ran into Floyd Mayweather. And I often wonder, did Floyd Mayweather damage Adrian Broner's career? Now, I'm not going to say at like Age and Broner was, you know, top of the line, A-plus boxer, just running through, destroying everybody. Um, but A-B did have decent skills. I mean, I would have put him as a B-plus um, fighter. And before he met Floyd, it just seemed like he took boxing more serious. Um, he had a close, tight circle. Um, he was a little flashy, um, had a little bit of brass talk, but it wasn't over the top. Um, he was trying to market himself kind of like Floyd Mayweather, hoping to get the big paydays, which is understandable. But man, when he did, when, man, when he did meet Floyd Mayweather, wow. This is the top. This is way over the top way over the top and it's like he just changed into a completely different person running around flashing cash running around saying you broke you poor you need to get your weight up um uh, his level of talk just became even more reckless um started getting in trouble more with the law going to jail Uh, domestic disputes, sex tapes, all this crazy stuff. And, you know, and he was trying to keep up with Floyd Mayweather, but you'll never have as much money as Floyd does. But he tried to keep up. Um, it puts me in mind, of who was that? Remember, who was that he gave an interview? I think it was Antoine Walker. Remember Antoine Walker, the basketball player? And Antoine said uh, he used to go to the casinos with uh, Michael Jordan, and he tried to drop five hundred thousand, one million per game at a casino, and just losing his money. And Jordan had to tell him, like, "Listen, dude, what are you trying to do? I understand you're trying to hang out and be a big baller like me, dude. I make eighty million to a hundred million a year just off Nike endorsements." I can lose 5, 10, 15, 20 million a night and still be okay. You can't. And nevertheless, Antoine Walker had to learn the hard way and end up going broke and homeless at one point, I believe. Do I think Age and Bruno will drop down that far? God, I hope not. I hope somebody around him wakes him up. And, and, and you know, for the most part, he's kind of, from what I understand, he's just leaving Floyd unknown period because he said Floyd was never his friend. Floyd always being fake. Floyd is only his friend when the cameras are on. We've been telling you that for a long time. I'm just sad to say that it took you this long to realize that. But now that Floyd is out of his life and he's not trying to run around flash and cash and hang with Floyd instead of training, um, there's a possibility. I'm not saying he will. But maybe there's a possibility that Adrian Broner can get back to top form at 140. Uh, I would advise him to stay away from 147 pounds. I think Adrian Broner's caught at that height, weight, where I don't think he's tall and big enough to really compete against the top level 147 pounders. Um, I think he'll do better at uh, 140. And if he just gets his mind right, AB used to let his hands fly. He doesn't anymore. AB throws what, 20, 30 punches around in spurts, where when he was fighting like a lightweight, he was throwing about 50, 60, you know, around. So his punch output definitely went down. 
And I don't know if it's because he's a little bit older and he fears that he will burn out and he'll get tired. And he has the fear, I don't want to get knocked out in the later rounds because I blew my wad and I gave it my all. I don't know what the fear is or the mental stability of why he can't get past throwing bunches and punches. I mean, it worked for you in the past. I don't know. I understand people want to fight like Floyd and you want to save your energy. You want to be conservative. Uh, but Floyd can counter and hit back. And Floyd always stayed in control. And sometimes I feel A.B. tries to mimic him so much that he forgets to go on offense. That, you know, he would worry about defense. But you got to have offense. So, I don't know. So, I often sit back and think, man, did was Floyd Mayweather a bad influence to Agent Broner? And did he mess up his career to his potential to where he could have been? I don't know. I want y'all to leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think. And uh, check out the description below. I have a couple links down there, some things you might like. And make sure you subscribe. Until next time, this is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports. We're signing out.